Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell, then click all. Thanks! Welcome back. This is the third fruit in my summer fruit series, the watermelon. So let's go ahead and get started. All the gel polishes that I use in this video are from the Madame Glam Company. Beautiful colors. And I also use Perfect Black for the seeds. And then I use their No White Top Coat. And what I do is I apply small drops of the polish on the tile and mix colors if needed. Before you start painting, you will need to take a fine buffer, buff all the shine off of your nail, and clean off the dust. When I do these types of paintings on the nails which I'll polish, there is a lot of flash curing going on. That's because if you paint something and you want it to stay still and you don't want it to blend in with the next color, then of course you'll need to flash cure that into place for about five seconds and then you can start on your other color. Now if you have a wet color and you do want to blend with another color, then you just start blending until you get it right and then you'll flash cure. So as you watch this, you know, just keep that in mind that I am flash curing different parts into place and I'm just gonna let you watch this and if I need to come back in and say anything I will or I'll leave a little subtitle for you. There will be also parts of the video that I will speed up and that's it. I just want to say thank you all so much for being here and I hope you enjoy the video. After I close up this white line here, I'm going to come in and add more white gel polish to thicken that up and you're going to see why right here because I take a fine brush, I switched brushes and I'm just pulling the brush through the white creating little lines up through the watermelon. And once I get this done, I will go ahead and cure this into place for five seconds.
I need to come in and make my juice droplet. And how I do that is I take some no wipe top coat, mix it with just a small amount of pink. And then I have this transparent pink color and I start painting my droplet one layer, cure it. And then I come in and I do another second layer of the color on top, curing that. And that will give the droplet a little bit more deeper color. Now I'm going to top coat the nail with the no wipe top coat, cure it for one minute, and then I'm going to have to build up the juice droplet to make it look 3D. I showed you in the other two fruit videos how I made the juice droplet or water droplets 3D. And I did that by using no wipe top coat and I did it in three layers. The first two layers were flash cured at five seconds and then the third layer was cured at one minute. And as you can see here, that gives you a raised droplet so it looks 3D. This is the end of the video and I hope you liked it. Be on the lookout for the next fruit nail to come out in the summer fruit series and that will be the papaya nail. Again, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!